Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, Google Luca, what so should I even use? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you just started by for the first time, you're most definitely welcome, right? I mean, I've literally had to interact with most of this tool, right? So I think to some extent, I can speak to this, right? And for someone who is looking to even, even break into data and analytics, what BI tool should you learn, right? And um, for someone who has worked with Microsoft Power BI and for someone who is currently using Google Luca in a current um, job, as well as someone who has had to teach Tableau, I'm going to literally just run you through the different BI tools you should actually think of at this time. Time, right so in terms of what tool is profitable at this time guys i mean what was profitable some years ago may not be profitable right now right so in this video i'm going to literally you know take you to the different reasons why you should probably learn certain tool and it could be based on the ease of setup ease of learning profitability as well so when it comes to job market as well so, so guys let's go along and i will guide you through what to actually learn or to get started with right even if it's going to data analysis. in this video we'll be highlighting four major factors right when it comes to the ease of learning the most profitable the ease to use and set up as well as job openings for these tools as well so, so now let's jump right in guys so when it comes to the ease of setup right um for someone who is really just starting out in data and analytics I mean no doubt or no brainer Microsoft Power BI is one of the most popular tools out there right and this because it's actually very easy for you to use and to get started with right it literally takes what like less than 10 minutes you download and you install the application to your local computer to your laptop and they also import data in different formats like your CSV right format or however you connect your data as well too and you literally are able to get started right to visualize and analyze your data so for either I mean between Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, and Google Luca, obviously. Microsoft Power BI actually like wins, I mean, wins this ultimately, right? So yes, if you're ever looking to set up any of the BI tools, then Microsoft Power BI is very important, right? Or it's very good to use and start with, right? And then people coming closely to it is also Tableau as well too, right? But then, when it comes to Google Luca, guys, don't even bother. Like, don't even think of even if ease of setup is not easy at all, right? So um, there's that barrier that does exist, right? And I think that even why most people would rather even start with Microsoft Power BI, right? Rather than even like with either Google Luca or whatsoever. Because I mean the setup isn't straightforward as compared to Google Luca setup. And now this because Google Luca setup isn't as straightforward as either Microsoft Power BI or Tab. So guys, let's go right on to the next point. So now guys, let's go to the second point, which is the ease of learning, right? I mean, no doubt Microsoft Power BI wins, right? But now I'm going to tell you why, right? So both Microsoft Power BI and Tableau, right, are really ranked closely like now this is on my analysis right this is because power bi is relatively easy to learn and it's really because of its i mean drag and drop interface for various types of charts and also if you think about it right you can create and analyze your data in what in really without having to even use any coding or programming skills right so when it comes to the ease of learning hands down guys because of power bi actually wins the pack any other thing to say when it comes to this when it comes to ease of learning because of power bi is a very beginner friendly business intelligence tool right to actually learn if you're looking to get started in data analytics and i mean if you think about it right no wonder really beginners right literally start up with microsoft power bi i mean let me not even get started right with google Luca. like google Luca is of learning isn't there but it's a process you, you get to learn one on the job or why you're being using it right so let's not even go to google Luca. but when it comes to even ease of learning tableau comes even after microsoft power bi so these two are comparatively comparatively easy to learn right microsoft power bi and tableau actually like so now the third point is when it comes to like a strong global community i mean understand you're either using a particular tool and you do not i'll probably have questions right when it comes to understanding like how to use certain visuals or how to use certain features that is present in that tool so when it comes to even a strong developer community tableau wins it like i can't even dispute this right i mean tableau has been let's for how many years right now even before microsoft Fabia came to the scene right and tableau has been leading this business intelligence software space for quite a while and this is a tool that is owned by salesforce right and has and i mean granted right tableau has its bragging rights when it comes to even a strong developer community guys the community is a place right for you to either get your tableau question answered right you also have like collaboration with others as well too and it's also a space to also help you get like the most out of tableau right so when it comes to even a strong community tableau has a globally readily available community and for beginners looking to even immerse themselves in this tool i think i 
mean, Tabby is a very good starting point as well. So, like, when it comes to even having your questions answered properly. And also, one thing I also love about Tableau, right, that I don't really see so often with other BI tools is that Tableau has like this series of introductory lessons, right, for beginners to get started with this tool, right? Microsoft, on the other hand, also has like comprehensive tutorials, right, granted, right, for those who are looking to get started in Power BI. But for some reason, Tableau just sort of like outshines these. Like, I see that post literally everywhere when it comes to like a Tableau contest and the likes, right, or Tableau visualization challenges, right? You see all these weekly data visualization challenge that they host, and it's very interesting when I see like different LinkedIn posts on that, right, and how I see men who get involved in it. So this really would encourage many people, right, to be a part of it and also work on challenges as well as also share their visuals as well too. So I would really give it time when it comes to even having a very strong and vibrant tech community guys. like they're so good they are so good so just to be fair i mean not even just to be fair guys now that i'm thinking about it when it comes to even profitability right when it comes to profitability in terms of like job openings i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say it out loud i mean right now right at the moment it has to be google Luca, and i'm gonna tell you right it's quite shocking but that's the truth so there's really like an increase in the rise of job openings for the candidates google Luca, right and this is because of like google's Luca strong data governance right and this is very important even as a data analyst or working in the data team right the data governance helps you to ensure that you have the right people that have access to the right data as well as also like limited certain data set that can be seen by several people even in your workspace as well to write so there's even the point of version control as well to write that's one of the very strong reasons why people are looking to adopt google look at in their in their company right you're able to also roll back changes as well too so when it comes to even google look at it's pretty new right it's new in the block right but it's doing pretty well in challenger group according to the Gartner charts right and um for most roles right most recruiters i mean where i am currently right are really and actively looking for candidates with knowledge in google look right and i i think i probably ha would have spoken about this in some previous videos right and now this is because Luca has a strong integration with the data modern stack like your five track for example your snowflake and also like i ever said it also has a strong data governance too and this is a huge concern for companies and also if you think about it right google has a lot of um partners right so it's just easy for them to gradually adopt look at that be to be deep about it so that's why even there's that surge in terms of people who have good knowledge of look right and it will also make it easy right for these businesses that google partners to centralize their data and analyze in one place so for this right i mean my verdict for when it comes to profitability as well as job openings right google look at outshines guys so please learn this tool like learn this tool and by the way guys i was so excited like google look at just launched something that really blew my mind right and that is duet ai like if you've actually heard about it let's talk in the in the comment section right so duet ai go look at it's more like think about it like a chatbot right you can literally have conversations with your chatbot and it's more like a fast and simple conversation having to understand your data analyze your data right with a chatbot which duet ai right and then again you can also create an entire report or advanced visualization with only a few sentences of instruction that is next level that is next level i'm so excited because I'm seeing how much AI is even coming in play with so many things, right? Even regarding even in the data space as well, too. And also, you're also able to easily generate the chemical code using natural language. That's hand down amazing. So I'll just have a conversation with you of my friend and wondering, like, when it comes to accuracy, how accurate will it be, right? And then, obviously, because it's still a first iteration, there will be some errors. But it goes on, as time goes on, definitely it will improve, right? So that is one tool that I would always tell everyone to actually learn at this moment, right? Like, the growth is actually true. Managers. There's a lot of good people look at, right? So let me know, right? Right now, I know you probably, I mean, for most people, I heard of, right? They start with uh, Microsoft Fabio or Tableau, right? But what's your interest? Like, what do you think about Google look at, right? Is it a tool that you're looking to even adopt, right? Or get good graphs knowledge or get good graphs of, right? And in this channel, I would actually be putting out more content regarding Google look at because I think it's an interesting tool, honest. And also because also like strength is just skill with SQL. So I know I'm really wrapped a lot about, I've written a lot about uh, Google look at. And it's because I'm excited about this, right? So stick around to my channel as I bring in more content regarding the Google Luca. Also, next time, please ensure to go like as well, right? So like is a thumbs up, as well as also subscribe and also share your thoughts, guys. I want to know what I currently learning, right? In some months to come, what are you looking to skill on, right? So what BI tools are you looking to take off as well, right? So until next time, have a good day, guys. Bye.